Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Hey, eh? Hey. Yes. Look at you. It's accuser after accuser coming for Diddy, and I just can't keep up. I'm waiting for the commercial to say, If you or one of your loved ones have attended a freak off and have been hurt by P. Diddy Combs, also known as the Diddler, you may be entitled to compensation. Because at this point, the lawsuits don't seem like they are ever going to stop. Now, attorney Ariel Mitchell Kidd, who is no stranger to Sean Combs, has handled lawsuits before naming both Diddy and Trey Songz as defendants a few years ago. And she also represents another one of Combs' accusers, Adria English. Now, according to attorney Mitchell, Kid, she now represents a new accuser who states that she was introduced to Diddy at a friend's home in Atlanta. Now, while they were there, Diddy spoke to his right hand woman, Christina Quorum, about trafficking this victim. The woman was violated. And she ended up yelling and screaming, running out of the house. A neighbor saw her, ended up bringing her to their house. They called the police and the police took a statement. This woman has a story to tell and she has proof to go along with her story. Now, not only that, attorney Mitchell Kidd also says that she has seen video clips of Diddy being with an A-list celebrity that is bigger than Diddy. She did not use a pronoun. However, this video is being shopped around. We have so much to talk about because this Diddy story is never ending. But first, what I need you to do is subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this story and so much more. Now let's get back into it. So yesterday we spoke about attorney Tony Busby and he is a big name in the law game. He takes on these cases for free. You've probably seen his name in the Astro World case. Well, he's now repping over 50 of Diddy's alleged freak off victims, both male and female, some of whom were minors at the time. Now attorney Busby is said to be filing a class action lawsuit against Diddy next week because honestly, the number is just never ending. And most often with class action suits, they're the most common when the allegations usually involve at least 40 people who the same defendant has injured in the same way. According to attorney Busby, he says that this list is more than likely going to continue to grow and I believe it probably will. I'm just hoping it doesn't get to the point where everybody's just giving a thousand dollars because it's too many darn victims. Now, according to attorney Ariel Mitchell Kidd, she has a client who was a victim of Sean P. Diddy Combs. And according to that victim, that one fateful night that she met Diddy is a night that she unfortunately will never forget. Ariel Mitchell Kidd here in studio with us live tonight in New York. Thank you so much for being here. Um, tell us a little bit about your client of what you can. Yes. Um, so she reached out to me a few weeks ago after being referred to me by another attorney who knew I had been doing things about this case and had been uh, t sounding the horn on Diddy. I've actually sued him in another lawsuit in 2021 in Miami mm -hmm. with uh, Trey Songs. So she called me and told me a very horrific story about uh, her assault and her escape from the assault. She told me that she was at a friend's house who had industry ties and was on the phone with Diddy and he decided to come to the house. And when he came to the house, everything was fine that there was another woman there who we've determined to be Christina Quorum, KK, who Diddy talks about a lot as his like right hand woman, if you will, and that they were discussing sex trafficking her. And uh, then that led to her being served a drink where then she started to feel woozy. And then Mr. Combs uh, sexually assaulted her with an inanimate object and then actually directed another gentleman to sexually assault her while he watched and pleasured himself. So she was able to escape eventually and ran out into the streets yelling and screaming. And a neighbor heard her because this happened in a quiet suburban neighborhood. If so you there's will. a witness. Yes, we have a witness. We also have a police report. And that was made in 2018 that she, uh, when she initially filed the police report, she didn't name Diddy out of fear of retaliation. And more importantly, fear that no one would believe her. Right. So she then updated that report and we've been working with law enforcement to have them actually look into that report. They didn't do too much then, uh, but now they are looking more closely at it. All right, so let's slow that down just a minute. So when we talk about what happened in that house and she's running out to the street, I can see it 
as you're describing it so well. Uh, did she call the police right away? You said that obviously that there is a police report, but is she calling 911? Is she going to the neighbor's house? Can you give us any more detail about what happened? Sure. Uh, what she did was, as she's running out the house uh, yelling, a neighbor saw her and invited her into the home. Okay. And it's the neighbor who then called the police, and the police did come out at that time. Um, they also stated that they heard cars screeching, and the neighbor went outside and saw a black SUV leaving the premises very quickly. And by the time the police arrived, of course, he was no longer there. Well, was the neighbor able to identify who it was? The neighbor wasn't, uh, only that they saw the car leaving and okay. they only described the truck. They could not tell who was inside, but she told the neighbor at the time who it was and why they were leaving so abruptly. She actually contacted me today and said, that she was, uh, she saw something, uh, I guess recently that the Southern District Attorney came out and said that more victims should come forward and uh, contact their office and that she saw that and wanted to make sure that she would be one of those voices who would be heard. By the looks of it, it seems like Diddy was able to go all of these years being this big time sexual deviant that could do anything he wanted to do because of his fame, his money, his notoriety, and his connection to law enforcement that seems to make this man clearly untouchable. That was up until now. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is, T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. Now it seems like the biggest key player to bringing down Diddy's house of cards would be Christina Quorum. And they said that she was pretty much like the Ghislaine Maxwell. She made sure the man of the house stayed happy. He was happy with his drugs. He was happy with his women. Hell, she was the one that was with him when he was losing his mind after he had to give Cassie all that money in the settlement. This was the woman that handled all of his problems, but now that Diddy is locked up, he can't say, Christina. You know why? Christina. Christina's gone. This lady was loyal because the money was coming in. Please believe this lady is just as turnable as a queen size mattress. Karma had to use this Black American Express card to pay Diddy back because there is no limit on this payback. Now we've spoken about karma and things coming back to get you. Now you do recall that they said Diddy would often record these people and use those recordings against you when you did not do what he wanted you to do. Well now there's an alleged tape being shopped of Diddy with a high profile individual and this individual could be male because it doesn't seem like they really want to give the information away but take a listen to this. Uh, you're saying that there's tapes and they're being shopped? Yes, there have been people already shopping. We've heard about the tapes, but yes. the, the shopping thing is- Yes, new. there already have been tapes uh, leaking around Hollywood, being shopped around to individuals in Hollywood. But one particular person contacted me to shop a particular video they were in possession of and to contact the person who was in the video to see if they were interested in purchasing the video before it became a public knock. Uh, I've heard this before, so like a catch and kill. Catch and kill, correct. Wow, can you, and I guess you can't reveal the person who is on No, the I can't tape. explain who the person was, but Mr. High profile? Combs, Mr. Combs was in the tape and this other person is, I would venture to say, more high profile than Mr. Combs. Really, really, and you've seen it? You... I've seen stills of the video. Okay. Um, I so you can verify that... I, I, that it exists, that it's real, that the other person in the video is very visible. It's no question if it's that person in the video. And I can tell the video was pornographic in nature. Um, they asked Karma, what dish would you like to serve Diddy? And Karma said that take that special. Take that, take that. Who do you think this higher than Diddy profile is? Who was it? Leave a comment, y'all. It's so much going on with Diddy. I'm actually tired of saying this man's name. I ain't slept good. I ain't been eating good. I done lost some weight. I don't even do stories this often, but I got y'all. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about everything going on in the world of Diddy, and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of my new episodes.